Welcome back. If you've been outside at all today, <laughs> you know that the winds Literally. are very, very strong and we've been seeing it through all of our live pictures tonight too, Allison. Yeah, we definitely have. So those blustery winds started earlier this afternoon and will be continuing throughout the evening tonight. And that's all due to this system that we've been tracking that is now pushed off to our east. But on the back end of that, we've been feeling well, cooler temperatures and those strong winds. And that's exactly what we are seeing across the county right now. So this purple color on your screen, which we can see anywhere from the western portion of the valley through the mountains as well as into our desert cities. That means that we are seeing those very strong winds. So right now, gusts here in Bakersfield at 32 miles per hour, 28 down at the base of the grapevine and 35 in Jawbone Canyon. But they earlier this afternoon did see those gusts reaching 64 miles per hour, and it doesn't look like we have even seen the strongest of those winds yet because we are tracking a high wind warning across the county. So here in the valley, we could be seeing sustained winds from anywhere from 15 up to 35 miles per hour with those gusts up to 45 miles per hour and through the passes into Hatchby as well as down at the base of the grapevine looking at those very strong winds but it looks like some of the strongest are going to be down in Mojave so anywhere those winds ranging anywhere from 30 to 50 with those gusts that could be from 65 up to 75 miles per hour and we're going to be seeing those winds till the very early morning hours tomorrow so as you can see that number right at 8 p.m. is actually 75 mile per hour winds it's covered by the direction a little bit coming out of the northwest but it is going to be very strong and especially if you're driving on any of the freeways big, big rigs could be falling over because these gusts we've seen this in the past so just make sure that you are driving very safe and careful and it's going to be continuing again until two in the morning then by the time the sun rises at around seven that's finally when we are going to be seeing those winds calming down across the county but especially in our desert cities but on the back end of this system not only tracking those strong winds but much cooler temperatures we were in the 80s yesterday down to down 12 degrees here in Bakersfield today and down nearly 20 in some of our mountain and desert cities and these temperatures in the 70s are going to be holding on as we head into your Wednesday. It looks like we're going to be having a high of 70 degrees so that is technically below seasonal which is at 73 for this time of year and these conditions are what we're going to be feeling throughout the rest of the work week. Mostly clear skies through Saturday before our next system rolls into the county. This one is going to be relatively weak so the best chance to see any of those showers is going to be in our mountain communities and that is going to be in the very early morning hours on Friday, but still relatively breezy conditions through that looking at 20% chance of rain for us here in the valley on Friday morning. But then look at this temperature soaring right back to the 80s on Saturday and Sunday, and then the potential for yet another system moves in on Monday and Tuesday. So another round of those breezy conditions. The Kern River Valley will have a high of 63 degrees tomorrow, 53 in Tehachapi and 52 in Fraser Park. They're going to be holding on to the 50s until the weekend, of course, where finally these winds are going to be calming down and those temperatures warming right back up. <laughs> so you're saying my allergy pills will continue through the rest oh, yes. of this week. Yes. Oh yeah, you're definitely going to want to keep those handy in your purse. <laughs> All right, Alison, thanks. It is